Hi, what's up guys? And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cricket farm or a grasshopper cake. I'm actually going to tell you some facts and some cool um, reasons why you should keep and farm them. So the first reason I should I tell you to keep grasshoppers and farm crickets is because grasshoppers are actually are actually great pets. They're easy to look after and they don't need too much um, stuff because they basically eat any plant you give them. There are a few other facts um, about grasshoppers and cr crickets. The way you can tell grasshoppers and crickets apart is basically by their antennae and their wings. So if you're imagining your head, grasshoppers have short antennae, like Max over here. He has short antennae. But, grass, but crickets, on the other hand, have antennae that are as long as their bodies, which are outstandingly long. Which means if a cricket's this long, their antennas would be this long too. So it would make a cricket as long as your hand, which is the worst part about it. So that's what, and not just that, crickets usually make chirping sounds every day. So um, the way you can tell the difference between grasshoppers and crickets is basically um, by looking at the antennae and the sounds. So grasshoppers antennae like Max's here have a short, very short, and crickets antennae are as long as their body. And here's a good reason why grasshoppers are very good pets. Firstly, they don't require much. And secondly, they live much longer in captivity than in the wild. That's something I learned. So, Max here is actually going to live much more than a year. Because he's living in captivity with me. He would have lived less than about five months because he doesn't have a leg. I found him missing a leg. I don't know where that leg went. But he wasn't having a leg. I may, I had did have to transport Max to this bigger cage because his small cage I knew wasn't enough because he's gonna grow up to five centimeters. First step is basically to pour in the soil, and I don't. I usually take out most of the stones, but this time I didn't have any time. So basically, after that, you basically have to lay this out um, and make it even. Like this. So after that, it's time to put the stick in. The stick basically has to go into the soil and dab right in like that. And bury and make it and stop it from fall to stop it from falling. Now you need to put in the plants. You can put it in wherever you want. I'm just gonna put it in random places. Step is. You basically have to spray it so so all the soil and stuff like that stays intact. Not just that, um, the spraying is also for the water, so the grasshopper and cricket can can live. Grasshoppers only produce sounds um, when they're either in the Spring and spring and summer times. Well, and only do it and only do it if there's no, nothing ne next to them. But crickets, on the other hand, will do it continuously, including in the winter and summer and stuff like that. And even if the if the females close by, the the the, the crickets will actually still make sounds, which is which is weird, and the. And the thing, the reason why grasshoppers, I think grasshoppers are good pets, uh, cause they don't need too much. Like you can see in this video, there's literally nothing except soil, plants, and a few roots. So, and not just that, they'll eat from any plant. It doesn't have to be a plant that like has leaves and stuff. It can even be some kind of grass, like its name suggests. It, these guys and these guys can actually live a, few, a little bit, a pretty long without food, actually.
it on. And thank you for watching my video. And if you want to see more, please like, share, and subscribe.